guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created this beautiful, smoky, grungy, sexy look, keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I don't have a full face of makeup on, you know, like how I normally start off with my videos. Tonight, I thought I'd be diving into something different that I've never done before, and it's like a really dark, grungy eye look. Um, that's like the best way that I can explain it. So, so far, I've just done my brows off camera, so I'm going to go ahead and define the shape under my brow with my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in shade C2. I'm going to dab a little bit on that on the back of my hand and I'm also going to go in with this in a little bit and prime my eyelids with them and instead of setting them I'm going to let them stay wet because the color I'm going to use I want as much pigment as possible out of it. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just going to pick up the rest of that excess on the back of my hand and just sweep that on one of my eyelids so it's not a waste of concealer and there's more on that hand so I'm just gonna take the doe foot and tap it on my eyes and I'm just gonna start blending that onto my eyelid I know I use um, I need to get more beauty sponges because having to wash these every day because I don't want to use the same sponge and not like clean it from the last time I did a full face of makeup which lately because I'm trying to have like a more consistent schedule of filming so I'm gonna try and start filming on or I'm gonna try and start uploading on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays at like 9 a.m. and have them preset to launch on their own which is a really cool feature, I think. Because, as I stated before in my earlier videos, I work a week on and a week off. And sometimes I'm up in the unit and we're not allowed to have our phones. So I can't just whip my phone out if I'm on a job to um, post a, a video to YouTube. So I'm just going to have them preset onto my YouTube as like a draft to be aired at a specific time. So like I said, the specific times from now on will be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. So make sure you are subscribed and you have the notification bell on so that way you can be notified every time my video uploads, which will save you a lot of time from wondering if I've uploaded. So yeah, make sure your notifications are on and then it'll just be great. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Morphe um, 35B Stunning Vibes palette and I'm going to dip into this black shade right here and I'm going to take the JH 33 brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection with Morphe and like I said I'm going to dip into this black shade right here and I'm just what you're going to do is you're just going to stamp it onto your eyelid and don't worry we are going to blend this out but in order to get as much color as possible I feel like I'm doing like a makeup look for Halloween And then just start blending that out so it doesn't look so harsh. This is going to look very messy before it starts to look better. I hope. Like I said, I've never done one of these looks before. And I just had something like envisioned in my head that I wanted to try something I've never done before. And, well, this is it. And I know that I have a thing on my head. It's a face mask we have to wear at work. It's clean, obviously. Um, but I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel like doing my hair tonight. It's like, I don't know, probably somewhere between 9 and 10. I don't, my clock isn't working. I've never fixed it since the power went off the last time we had like a really bad storm. So. Okay, so I'm gonna set this brush down and grab another clean brush and... I'm going to take the Morphe M433 brush. It looks like this. It's just a 
a blending brush and I'm going to dip into let's lighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and kind of just like soften up those lines between the black and the concealer. I am so freaking excited for my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette to get here. I've got a look like in mind that I want to create with it and I, I just can't wait. I like that I'm kind of starting to branch. I like that I'm starting to kind of branch out of like my comfort zone of just like news and like neutral looks. I want to do like more creative but I don't want to just be known as someone that just loves like her natural looks. Which, don't get me wrong, I do. I am a whore for natural looks. But, I want to learn more because I am self-taught. I've literally learned all of my stuff here from trial and error and by watching nothing but YouTube tutorials. And, yeah. Like, when I started this journey three years ago of getting, like, really into makeup, because, I mean, I wasn't really into it when I was a kid. Like, at all. Uh, I never thought that I would be here today. And I know I've said this multiple times. But, like, I'm honestly just surprised at how far I've come myself. Mm. That, like, I guess it just makes me believe that you can do anything you set your mind to. As long as you practice and, like, you persevere and never give up hope. I mean, obviously, you know, like, I stopped doing makeup looks for, like, a while. But. The. The effort that I put into my artistry, like, for my face is, is still there. Like, I'm still able just to do the things that I've been wanting to do but I feel like I do them better now I don't know um but I thought that this shade right here would be really pretty to go like, like over the whole black eye so I'm just gonna take my hand or my finger and, and I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid to kind of like glam this up just a little bit give it kind of like a girly feel Instead of just being so dark and black. Alright, so basically all I did was I took another shimmer shade and I used this one right here. And I just applied that on top of that other shimmer shade. Just to kind of like brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm done with my eyes, so I guess I'm going to use a makeup wipe remover and wipe all of this other stuff off of my face so we can go ahead and get started on the actual face. I'm going to let that dry a little bit because I don't want to apply primer on top of a makeup wipe remover just for it to come off and or like look blotchy. I'm going to take my No Pore Blum Primer by Touch and Soul and just apply that to, oops, apply that everywhere on my face. 
And then if you have a five head like me, you obviously need a lot of, you know, primer on there. And I'm going to take a little bit extra on my nose because I am very, I have so many pores there and on like my chins. And then just rub that in. Yeah, I can wake you up. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild contouring palette. Oh. I'm almost dropped this whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow contouring palette. I'm gonna dip into the contour shade. I just used the wrong brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Beauty. Beauty Muse Pro is just an angled blending brush to apply the contour. See, like it's on the nose right now. You might not be able to tell. I can tell though. And see, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I have it on this side of the nose. And I'm going to apply it to this side. And like I said, just very, very, very lightly. Doesn't take much. All right, nose contour is done. I'm going to go ahead and bake my face. Baking is literally my favorite thing to do. I'm going to go back in with that same Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to dip in with this small brush for my nose for the bridge. Faithful to me. And then for the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into the Morphe 35V palette to finish my lower eyelash. I'm gonna use the JH37 brush and I'm gonna dip into the black shade along with this color right here. And just very lightly apply that to the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the bake off and start on the rest of my face. All right, so because this eye look is a little bit more dark, and this is the only thing of blush I have. I'm going to dip into the Pop of Rose from Morphe and dip into Hustle with the JH04 brush. It's just another angle blending brush. Smile. I'm going to apply mascara. Look at that. A little bit of a lash on there with the Maybelline Total Temptation in Black is Black. I'm 
going to go ahead and set my brows with the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter in the shade Clear. Alright, I'm actually going to use some different lashes today. The lashes I'm going to use are from the brand called Makeup Shack. And they look like this. These stylish dragon eye. I was actually looking for it all over the box and it's right on top of the lashes. I'm going to take the JH09 highlighting brush that I've been using lately. I've got some loose pigment. Why not just go right in, right? I mean, this is already a grungy look. Why not be highlighted to death? Let's apply a lip. I'm going to use Urban Decay in the shade 1993. It is a comfort matte that looks like this. It's a little bit darker of a nude. Alright, I'm going to set my face and then we're done with this eye look, guys. Of course, obviously, Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great night, guys. Bye. Bye.